Hi guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has taken a swipe at President Mohamed Buhari after the later urged Western allies to designate the group as a terrorist organization. The group, in a statement on Wednesday by Emma Parafo, noted that anyone who tags it as a terror or proscribed group needs to be examined at a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> it further warned politicians in the southeast region to stop associating it with criminal acts perpetrated by unknown gunmen, alleging that the same politicians who are linking IPOB to criminal activities are the ones fueling the crimes in the region. IPOB said it is a disciplined, focused freedom movement that would rather not involve in criminal activities as this would delay the actualization of the independent Biafra nation. It further alleged that the Nigerian police, the army, and the DSS agents are the key actors in the kidnapping and unlawful killings going on in Anambra state, Abia, Imo, Ebony, and the Enugu states. The group said, following the incessant abductions, killings, humiliation, and sponsorship of all manner of criminalities in the eastern region for quite some time now, IPOP reminds politicians that the same that the time has come for them to turn a new leaf. Does it from making themselves available to the enemies of our people to use as a tool of destabilizing the eastern region and cause anarchy in our land or be ready to face the consequences? Men of predation must stop linking IPOP with their evil actions because we are not morally bankrupt as they, the poli political harlots, they are. IPOP is a very disciplined, very focused freedom movement. We have no business with political criminals and we do not have any business with criminalities because if IPOP engage in any form of criminality, we will be delaying the coming of an independent Biafra nation, and we have certainly have no intention or desire to delay the freedom and liberty of the Biafran people. IPOP has no plan, neither are we complicits in the political killings, kidnapping of religious leaders and business people going on in our territory. But these evil politicians working for the Nigerian government are behind and sponsoring all criminalities going on, and we must be held accountable. We have published names of those of those politicians and their thugs responsible for these criminalities happening in now happening now in the region, as well as the Nigerian army harboring in their barracks, Fulani terrorists masquerading as herdsmen to attack our land and kidnap for ransom. If we are terrorists, the European Union cannot afford to allow IPOP to demonstrate in their headquarters. Therefore, anybody or media who reports IPOP as a terror group, as proscribed group, should purely examine themselves. We are not interested in this selection process called Nigeria election, yet we cannot afford to allow any one or group behind the killings and the kidnap in our land to continue. Politicians in the eastern region must desist from evil art such as using talks to attack their perceived political stumbling block with the evil intention that IPOB would be blamed without investigation. Whoever allows himself or herself as a willing to in the hands of politicians will regret such actions soon. <laughs> the world knows who the terrorists are and not IPOP. The hard truth is that the fear of disintegration gives 
some sections of this country had attack really needs to after turning blind eyes to the real terrorist this is distraction nigerians should channel their energy towards how to pull nigeria out of the woods Buari knows that he is a disaster and is just looking for ways to distract us from the main issue the world knows how Buari government molests harmless protesters even if IPOP resorts to self-help, it is justified because you cannot stop people from expressing their frust frustration and grievances. If they protest now, you will kill them. If they resort to self-defense, you call them terrorists coming from a man whose tribe is associated with terrorism. Hmm. Shameless government, Fulani. Headers who have taken over the country. Buari and the Kabas are consequential beings. What you have done in Imo State Market just recently is really a sign of who you are, IPOP. If you haven't earned Nigeria to save lives, you will end Nigeria to finish the lives of your Igbo people. And that we cannot allow you to achieve. Mazid Namdekano knows better. Let's wait if we use the opportunity to visit any nearest psychiatric hospital before he leave Rwanda. Aso Rock should be turned into <laughs> place for where mad madness is treated. The West know that Buhari is the leader of Boko Haram and bandit, Hesmen and Iswap in Nigeria. Yes, and Buari just left the country to Rwanda to visit his doctor. <laughs> yes, so I think this government left what they had to do. What uh, Fulani has men, bandits and Boko Haram, killing women and destroying properties in millions. They left them, but picking what is not real from IPOP members. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your views below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out. Here.